Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is just going to be a quick video on the Eagles standouts of the offseason overall to start of the first two games. By offseason, of course, I mean offseason of how we started. We did expect a better start out of our team, and it hasn't been there yet. But we have had good starts from certain individuals, such as Miles Sanders, who has 20 attempts for 95 yards, a 4.8 average yards, one touchdown, and his receiving yards on the year of 36 already. And of course, for him, that's just in one ball game. We also have Jalen Reger, who has 96 yards for 19.2 average yards. I would like to see us space him out down the field like we did that one play in Game 1 a little bit more than we did in Game 2. He has a 19.2 average yards because he's also as fast as Lightning. He's going to be a great pick, in my opinion, and was a good pick in his showing. He already is a good one. And then d who's coming back, hopefully... Uh, we pray that he can stay healthy, has 110 yards with a 13.8 average. So him and Rager on the outside look like that's going to be a great dynamic duo there. When Jeffrey comes back, we know he's a possession guy. So our receiving core should be in pretty solid shape. And then Ertz and uh, Goddard have looked pretty solid themselves as well. They just did not make our three stars of the offense, or first three stars of offense. As I do Eagle standouts, I'm going to do these videos every two weeks. Uh, are Miles Sanders, Jalen Reger, and Deshaun Jackson. Again, Sanders had 20 attempts for 95 yards with a 4.8 average and 36 yards with on, receiving yards. And then Jalen Reger at 96 yards with a 19.2 average. d 110 yards, 13.8 average. Where defense, we have a couple surprise names. We have Josh Sweat. What a great name that is for football with four solo tackles, a forced fumble, six total tackles, and a sack on the season so far. He's a guy that we got. We took a chance on. It seems like that's panning out, and it seems like with health, uh, he's going to be able to get better and better, and I hope he continues to be able to stay healthy and get better and better. He looks like a great pickup for this team. Another is a former fourth-round pick by the Colts in 2016. Hassan Ridgeway has five solo and six total tackles. He's played pretty good. He's looked at like... He's very, very, very in tune out there and confident this year, so I really like what I saw from him, and that seems like a very good small pickup, uh, which is absolutely no risk and just all reward for the Eagles, and it's definitely panning out right now. And then Abonte Maddox, he hasn't looked all peachy clean all the time in coverage yet, but he's still young and learning, but he's looked great when it comes to being able to get the guys down because he has 12 solo tackles, and to put that in uh, perspective... um. Slay has six, where, where Maddox, we know, unlike Slay, who the one hit on him is struggling at tackling, does not, certainly as hell, does not do that. So our defensive stars in our first Eagle standouts of the first two weeks, and then we'll have it of the first four weeks doing this in two-week blocks, and then six weeks, so on and so forth, or Hassan Ridgeway with five solo tackles, six total and then we have Avante Maddox with 12 solo tackles so far. Josh Sweat, who has a sack, a forced fumble, and four solo tackles with six total on the season. So those are our standouts of the season thus far. And then hopefully we can get going and get on the winning ways and get our record to 1-2. and two. We've been 0-2 and two before and bounced back, but we got to start that against Joe Burrow, who's been slinging it around really good in these first few games. So everyone, have a great, safe, and pleasant week. Let's go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Those are our first Eagles standouts of the season. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everyone. This is Joe Borick for Sports Fanatic News. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you want in future videos. Peace out, everybody.